With the ever-increasing amount of lightweight e-mountain bikes coming to the market, we thought it was time to go head-to-head -head against a standard mountain bike out on the trails for a variety of different challenges. Is it gonna be more like riding a mountain bike with a little bit of assist, or is it still worlds apart? Time to find out. So I'm gonna need a mountain biker for today's challenges. Ah, here's one. Hiya, I'm your mountain biker. My name is Blake Sampson. I'm 35 years young. I come in at 174 pounds. I kind of go to the gym pretty proactive. I like to do uh, workouts in my uh, garage on my turbo trainer, press ups and all that rat jazz. I like to eat healthy, but I do like an occasional beer. And this is my bike. This is the Canyon Spectral. It's a 29 inch wheels. Uh, it is a medium sized frame, full carbon everywhere and on the wheels. Weight wise, I have no idea, but it's super lightweight. It's 150 mil travel and it's powered by myself, which are pushing out 1850 watts on a good day when I just want to power up. Right, enough of the natural aspirated guy. Let's go to e-bike Chris. Yes, I'm e-bike Chris, 39 years old, weighing in at about 200 pounds. I'm a dad of three, so I'm not as fit as I once was, but the bike I am riding today is the Specialized Turbo Levo SL. Rolls on 29 inch wheels, 150 mil travel. It's got a 320 watt hour battery in there, Specialized O motor on there, pumping out 35 Newton meters of torque. And this bike has four different power settings. You have off, eco, trail and turbo mode and for today's challenges i'm all about turbo so it's time to hit the trail to see how these two bikes compare <laughs> Chris, first challenge, what is it? It is a top to bottom run on one of your favorite trails. Which one are you gonna choose? I'm gonna go blue because it goes all the way to the bottom and you have to pedal all the way back up. Okay, so it's down and back up. And for this, we're gonna be taking a look at average speed, maximum speed, and average and maximum heart rate too. And of course, not forgetting the time. Are we going full race pace? Or are we just gonna be like you like would a, on a normal day? Yeah, like a standard kind of ride. Okay. We're not going normal full ride. hammer. Good, go that it, sounds yeah? good, that sounds good. Right, let's go to the drop in. Right, I'll see you, see you on the uh, climb. See ya. That's enough head start. <laughs> Whoa, that was definitely pretty tough, especially after riding a full powered e-bike the last few weeks. Definitely notice that two times the amount of assist compared to the four times that I get on the Levo. Pretty interesting. I wonder where Blake is. He was uh, with me at the bottom of the downhill, but he's still uh, waiting to come up this climb. <sighs> nice. But Nice little climb. Nice little climb. I saw yeah. you weaving all your way through Did there. Yeah. I saw you come out the bottom of the downhill track and then <laughs> like on the way up. <clears throat> yeah, still quite hard work on this. Yeah. It's not as crazy as It's not, like, it's super punchy. Yeah. It's just like. Yeah, you seem <clears throat> less out of breath than me. Maybe because you're fitter. It's all that training you do with Nino Shirt. Like. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at some let's of these look at results then, shall we? Right, first up, Blake, time. I did five minutes, two seconds. 0.89. Well, I did six minutes 29. Six minutes 29. Okay, yeah. average speed 9.5 with a maximum speed of 24.5. I got 
max speed 24.7. Well, faster. Average is 7.9. Right, nice. And then average heart rate, I was 103 beats per minute with a max of 139. Whoa. I was 111 average and 145. Well, okay, so working out a little bit harder. I was working a little bit harder, yeah. But that wasn't absolutely flat out efforts, was it? It was nah. probably 80%, I reckon, I yeah. was going up the climb. But interesting results there. That's so pretty cool. Pretty, wow. pretty level, to be yeah. fair. Fit guy against fat guy. Not bad. But I wouldn't say fat, Chris. <laughs> I wouldn't say fat. Anyway, right. Should we, uh, Another challenge? Next challenge. Yeah. Well, Blake, some interesting times out on the blue run, but yeah, yeah. time, I think we switch it up a little bit for a bit of trialsy technical style riding. Oh, yeah. and I found this section in the woods. So we've got a bit of a climb here yeah. into an off camber left, sort of a punchy little climb. Then up to you. To me. I'm going to flick a 180 and go straight up that last little bit of bank up to your bike. So the last little sting in the tail, what? the scorpion trail. Yeah. Let's see if the bikes make it, yeah? Do you know what? This is going to be all just brute power. I'm just ah. going to steam it because I don't know how I can crawl up that. I don't Not know if I can actually make this on the e-bike. Well, I suppose time will tell. Mm -hmm. Should we give it a go? Yeah. Do you want to go first? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll humiliate myself first. Watch right, this. The pressure's on. Right. Ready? Three. <laughs> nice. Look at this. This is good. Oh, the 180. Bit of Tony Bow trials going on. Bit punchy little climb here. Can he make it on the naturally aspirated bike? Whoa. Yes. Yes. Request. Nice, Blake. Right, time for the e bike. That was a. Uh... Oh, if it was like a little bit more rough, where I'm relying on my own power to get grip, I don't think I would make it. Whereas the e bike, you can kind of sit into it and use the power to get grip. Anyway, that's my excuse. Chris, go on. Go on, Chris. Look, he's just chilling. Sunday chill, ride. Chill, chill, chill. Sunday ride there. Oh, losing traction a little. Look. And then. Easy. Hey, look at that. Not even out of breath. No, you like just put it in full low and just <laughs> steamed up. Four wheel drive. Yeah. Low, we were there. Like you could have had a cup of coffee in your hand whilst driving <laughs> off road like that, going that chilled up there. Wow. Nice. Well, Blake, that climb off was a load of fun, but let's just have some fun on the trails. I want to see how this SL compares yes. to a normal mountain bike, just flowing down here, popping off everything. I'll follow you into it. A couple of runs? Yeah, what trail? Tina Turner, I think. Tina is a good Turner? One. This yeah, one. this looks good. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to run. Pushing that push bike again, then, Blake. <laughs> Do you know what I've noticed, right? There's a yeah. few people, because you're a well-known name in the e-bike world. <laughs> people have been like, why is he riding a normal bike? I know, but that's the good thing about this bike. It's pretty stealth, I think. It is. If you're riding bike park, you know, sometimes you get a bit of grief, people thinking, oh, there's that e-bike guy again. Yeah. But one of these is pretty stealthy as well. So. It's super stealthy. It, it, yeah. From a distance, you would think it's Doesn't a normal look bike. Nice, sleek looking, isn't it? Like that Merida there. I didn't know that was an e-bike. Really? Yeah. They're on the change. Yeah, they are. Okay, now, I followed you down some trails on your full fat e-bike. Mm -hmm. like, the weight of that thing just plowing yeah, through yeah. everything. You know, but when it comes to a little bit more mellower, mm -hmm. where you have to pump it a bit, that, that thing turns into an absolute piggy. Definitely, yeah. I'm noticing on this trail, just how much more you can pop and hop and like change line quicker. Yeah. You know, I think on a slow speed trail, like this one with a bit of tech and roots you can pop off. Yeah. Like this is definitely more manageable at yeah. slower speed. You know, everything comes to life and it's every little crest and rock I can feel this bike coming off the ground, which is something I think that you don't get with a regular e mountain bike. No, you know, yeah. weight of those things. But yeah, a little bit more skittish, maybe a little less grip, but a load of right. fun. Back to the top for more then, Chris. Another run? Yeah. See you up there. Yeah, you will. Look at that. <laughs> Steaming off the e bike. Push bike. You... 
He absolutely roasted him, dude. He covered him in everything you could. <laughs> Chris. Are we done, man? Because that is the last one. We're nearly done, Blake, but I think what I've noticed about this bike has yeah. definitely been a leveler to a man of your fitness and possibly okay. power. Although I think this thing has got more power than these pistons on the top of your legs. Hell possibly. no, dude. I, I could outbeat you on a sprint. For on sure. a sprint? Sprint, no. I could smash. I want to talk about power. I think I've got just the thing up in the car park. You ready for round two? Round two? Yeah. Have you Three? got your shin pads in the van? <gasps> oh, no. Mm -hmm. It's. Tug of war, I got the rope, let's go. Chris, <laughs> that's too hard, man. <laughs> Do you know what? Compared to the full fat one, yeah, it's not as bad. I had it? a little fighting chance, but yeah, no. it's still, no, you still got. I think it's been pretty even, Stevens all day. I think, hasn't it? That's but it's been ridiculous. An epic day on the hill. I think with this bike, it's definitely more mountain bike than maybe yeah. e-bike for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think what it has been is a great leveller all day. Yeah. In my fitness compared to Blake's, Blake's an absolute powerhouse and he's fit as anything as well. Whereas I'm just your average Joe, maybe slightly fitter. You're not average there, you can <laughs> shred, dude. But there you go, I think place for these bikes, it's just for big days out, isn't yeah. it? I've got yeah, yeah. plenty more left in the tank. You know, I could probably stay here till sundown. Whereas I think whereas, you're pretty beat, aren't you? So I think I need uh, some energy. Definitely. But where do you think these bikes are fitting in then? For? I reckon, I do. There is a place for them mm -hmm. things, and I reckon that's a, I reckon that's a good one. Yeah. So it's that middle ground, isn't it, between yeah. mountain bike and e-bike? I think if you're coming from mountain bikes, get on one of these, and it's definitely going to make Just your days more that. fun. Just exactly. about to say that. In the middle, I yeah, like it. So load of fun. Can I have it? Uh, maybe you can borrow it for this weekend. <laughs> but let us know what you think about today's video down in the comments box down below. Let us know what you think about lightweight e-mountain bikes compared to mountain bikes. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on EMBN and give us a find and a follow on social media.